Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, I'm really excited because today I'm reacting to a song by an artiste that I admire very much, Idols. Um, they've got a song called Dancer, which came out on the 18th of October um, while I was away in the Americas, and I'm back now, so I'm going to react to it. Justin Hawkins Rides <laughs> Yeah, that's, I'm so out of practice. Sorry, guys. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Right, Idols have returned with a new single, Dancer, featuring James Murphy and Nancy Huang of LCD Sound System. The singer, Joe Talbot, said, When I started this album, I said, I want to make people dance. I want people to feel the love that I need in my life. I want to make people move. I want our music to be infectious again. And I want it to be infectious in a way that makes people feel, not think. I want to be part of something electric again. Cool. So he's talking about a visceral kind of urge to move your body in time with the music. Oh, I love dancing. I'm just, rhythm is a dancer. And of course, I am 90% rhythm. Uh, what am I talking about? Don't know. Uh, anyway, Mango Mover ten forty nine, not to be confused with the other one thousand and forty eight of them, said, uh, "Can't wait to base my entire personality off of this for the next six months." <laughs> cool. Um, Roma the Rever Revenant eight seven four nine said, "Man, this song is impossible to not dance or shake your head to." And then Marcus Root one six eight says, "That baseline has been my, been in my bloodstream since they teased it, and I've got a fever." I want to get that looked at, mate. I'll have a look at this, see what's going on. Okay. I thought it was, when I saw those wheels uh, uh, trundling along there, I thought it was either going to be like one of those gurneys that you get in hospitals, or um, so I thought it might be in a restaurant, you know, when um, when they bring out the uh, the desserts on a special... Tr but it's not, it's, um, it's a mop and bucket. <laughs> Now I'm going to love this. Now what's cool about that? Ding. So it's a pedal, because it's one note. But what's interesting is that push on the end. So done, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. With a straight drum beat behind it. That's cool. Got a bit of that sort of um, Eastern promise about it. My focus is on the cold, cold butter running down your neck and the sweat. It's <laughs> a great lyric. My focus is on the cold, cold butter running down your neck and the sweat. Um, he might be addressing a sandwich at this point, I don't know. On a hot day. Speak. My breath moves your hair in a round that's a glance like a I like the way he keeps returning to the sweat. It's kind of like the, the one constant in everything that he observes. It's a great lyric, this is. There's something really menacing in the way he goes cheek and then just... Wow. I can see why it's getting under people's skin. It's just like... something really intense about it. I'm not sure if it would make me dance as such. I'm not sure if it's achieved that objective, but it's definitely making me feel something. It's definitely got a bit of that Ken Loach approach. It's the Ken Loach approach to disco music, right? These guys are all such brilliant dancers as well. I mean, it's obvious that... The, the, they were born to do disco. I don't know why it's taken them so long. I can taste the mood in my mouth like particles of punch drunk love and the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sweat. I just, when he keeps coming back to that sweat, it's just like, yes. That's everything. To speak. It's kind of giving me vibes, uh, you know, the fall, sleep with mods, and the fall. It's got to be both of those things. And 
the sweat. He's getting more intense about that sweat now. Almost frustrated that it's all he can observe. I think he wants to drink in more of this experience, but he keeps coming back to the sweat. Which is the best bit, really, of anything. I love these. Uh, I love this video. It's just got loads of um, anything where there's uh, double exposure, superimposed stuff, and then that kind of feedback repeat on on the moving images of people dancing. It's great stuff. Really, kind of. It's a now. It's, it's a combination of now <laughs> in post Brexit Britain and uh, yeah, and some real sort of seventies, early eighties um, disco videos. Lovely soft focus on these dance segments. Just paused it at two minutes fifty. <laughs> he looks so intense. He's got. I think it could be a Hollywood leading man in something like, like a Jason Statham type role. You know, the kind of thing that I'm normally put forward for. He's he's got that. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty straight up. Wow, and he just goes, "I'm a dancer." I don't know, I mean, it's definitely not thought-provoking in the old-fashioned sense, but there's something really cool about that sort of, you know, the wasteland of forgotten Britain-type backdrop of, of, the, of the video, at least. And the, I suppose the, is it, is it a type of nihilism that just makes people want to dance? It's a similar thing to what, I suppose, Jarvis, Jarvis Cocker was talking about in... Uh, um, common people, I suppose. It's got a bit of that, hasn't it? Um, anyway, it's awesome. Really straightforward. Um, and sort of funny in a weird way, but in a menacing way. I don't know. Is it possible to be funny and menacing at the same time? If anyone can, the idols can. Um, let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff there. But on that first viewing, it's kind of like, wow. It's intense, but you don't really know why, if you know what I mean. It's sort of just gets you somehow. I'll listen to it again a few times, but this this is the coolest bit. Really cool. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the mailing list, and watch one of these two videos. Nice one, guys. I'll see you on the see you on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Again.